Welcome back to the ESA Summer Online. We are raising money for Alzheimer Fund and links to donate can be found below the stream. We would also like to thank Kaspersky, Twitch, and ViewSonic for sponsoring this event. I hear this is a really great run. So now it's time for Count Gooby to take it away with Shaq Fu Story Mode Easy. And before we start, I just want to let you know that the cutscene uh, showcase incentive has been met. Good luck. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everyone. Uh, <laughs> welcome to Shaq Fu for the Super Nintendo. I was just Shaq there, but I'm not Shaq anymore. That's just uh, my roommate's copy of Shaq Fu Genesis. Uh, right here, I'm just showing some settings that's used for verification for this category. So just verifying that we've got story mode easy on and our audio is off. You won't hear any game audio in this run because uh, it actually saves 30 seconds to disable it. So there'll be no game audio. So if you don't hear any of that, that's that's normal. And then we have our game speed fast because why wouldn't you? It's a speed run. <laughs> and we are going to start in five, four, three, two, one, go. All right, we get to see the story. This is incredible. <laughs> It's downtown Tokyo, and I'm checking out the local sites of the day of my all-star charity game win. So you can see this one man running in the background, and there's it's sponsored by Pepsi, so I like to think Pepsi Man is in this game. And more Pepsi sponsorship. I stumbled upon a small kung fu dojo with an old man inside. Greetings, big warrior. You are the one from the stars, I presume. I thought I never lived to see the day. I'm an all-star, if that's what you mean. We have a game tonight. Would you like to come? It's going to be quite a battle, even though it's for charity. Speaking of charity, donate to Alzheimer Fondon. Uh, great cause. Lots of great incentives, this marathon. Oh no, young warrior. I'm too old to be fighting, but I wish you well. You must hurry now if you are to save the little boy Nezu. That is, if you really are the magic one. I mean, Shaq is pretty magic in the paint. I'm not sure what you mean. I'm just sightseeing before my game. What are you talking about? No time to explain! Go through the portal, find Hezu, and save him before it's too late. And Shaq enters the second world. So, <laughs> that's the story to Shaq Fu. If it didn't make sense to you, don't worry. Even after playing this game a bunch, it, it still doesn't to me. And we're going to be going into our first fight here. This is essentially an arcade mode speedrun, so we're just going to be going through a few fights. Kind of like Street Fighter arcade mode. And we're going to be doing this one technique called the Shaq Hurricane. <laughs> and uh, that's the speed run. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> so, <laughs> get a little Shaq dance in there. It's great. So, the Shaq Hurricane is essentially just a fireball move, like a Hadouken in Street Fighter. And what we do is we just pour it uh, into the enemies over and over again. And oop, I'm getting some bad luck there with Kaori. Kaori, gotta get marathon luck, of course. There we go. The ideal uh, strategy I want with the AI to do is to just like jab me once and then just stay really close as possible and do nothing. That way my Shaq Hurricanes will hit them faster and then I can use more of them quicker. Um, if I use two Shaq Hurricanes really quickly back to back, the first one will despawn for whatever reason. Because Shaq Fu is a wonderfully programmed game that has no issues at all. So... <laughs> <laughs> None whatsoever. <laughs> and there's also some extra tech with it, too. So when you see the shack, so there's an example of one despawning. I did it a little too early. You kind of want the uh, the shack hurricane to stutter a little bit in the middle of the screen. That lets me know that I can do another shack hurricane and a shack dance. Do a shack dance. <laughs> I hope, I hope you're all Shaq dancing at, at home right now. Shaq dance is uh, absolutely needed to do in the speed run. <laughs> One of the rule requirements. And I want to thank everyone again for donating towards the cutscenes. There'll be a few more cutscenes we'll get to see that are quite great. So another thing, so we got a perfect there, which uh, is not ideal. The ideal, the reason why we want the jab is so that we don't get perfect, because that way we'll get less points on the score results screen, and as a result, there'll be, uh, we'll save a little bit of time there. Uh, in case you haven't noticed there, by the way, Shaq's wearing a Shaq jersey. <laughs> Shaq is Team Shaq. <laughs> so, <laughs> that always, 
That makes me laugh. The team is just Shaq. <laughs> it's a really nice fight there with uh, that gargoyle. Very, very nice. Few other uh, random things about Shaq Fu. So, uh, <laughs> this game was ported to quite a lot of consoles. So, this was on the Super Nintendo, as of course I'm playing it now, the Genesis. Uh, the Game Boy, the Game Gear, and the Amiga 2. It got ported by, like, all different companies, I believe. So, it's just weird. Somewhere in the second world, Beast brings his skeleton soldiers to life. Got some scary skeletons sending shivers down our spines. These br This bridge is actually kind of difficult to get through. Uh, that is, like... <laughs> The, the hitbox to get through is, like, surprisingly small. I don't know why it is, so that's the that's what I think is the true final boss of this game, is the bridge. Uh, this fight, the, oh, so if you get, the AI gets too close, sometimes Shaq Hurricanes just clip through them, because Shaq Fu is a wonderfully programmed game that has no problems with it whatsoever. Press 1 if you agree. <laughs> no, <laughs> no problems. Whatsoever. So that's actually really unlucky. There we go. There we go. Oh. Okay. So bad luck, but, but we did fine. So. This character is also pretty interesting because uh, she could put a hitbox on the entire ground. So just wherever you are on the ground, just if you're standing, uh, you get hit. So hopefully she won't do that. And I'm also going to make sure to not mash there, because there is a mini game we can play, but that is, uh, that is slow, of course. We don't want to play the optional mini game. And there we go. So not mashing, and we are through. So we got our last two fights up here. Beast and then Set Ra. So Beast here is going to be Set Ra's servant, and is going to beat us senseless. According to him. Whatever beast is. <laughs> so. Uh, so. Some other facts about Shaq Fu. Is, uh, yeah, it got ported to a bunch of different consoles, kind of like I mentioned earlier. Uh, in case you're wondering more about the development of this game. Um, for one, the SNES version has less characters than the Genesis version. You might be wondering why that is. EA just didn't want to put in the extra characters to save on costs because that would require a bigger uh, chip, like a chip with more data on the Super Nintendo version. So they just took out characters on the Super Nintendo version, but like the Genesis version has like two, three more characters or something. I'm not as familiar with the Genesis version. All the different versions have uh, some different unique strats too, which is kind of interesting that they have different strats based on the game, like the speedrun. Oh, here we go. Are you ready for this? There's a scary, scary mummy here. Ah, scary mummy! Ah, I'm scared. <laughs> mummy is scary. <laughs> and this is our last fight coming up, so time will be uh, at the end of the second round, and I'll let you know when. Set Ra is kind of a troll. He can be uh, hit or miss sometimes. So I, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, he likes to shoot fireballs sometimes. Sometimes he likes to jump over you, and his jump is kind of slow. And sometimes he just likes to block in the corner. It's different each time. Um, one random thing about Shaq Fu that I didn't get to mention is that in case you're wondering why this game turned out the way it is, uh, EA wanted this to be a basketball game, to my knowledge. Uh, and then Shaq, he's a fan of Mortal Kombat. And so he went to EA and was like, let's make a fighting game. And they had a basketball game engine, but so they reworked it into Shaq Fu. And that's how we got Shaq Fu. So time is coming up. Oh, geez, got unlucky there. <laughs> time is coming up here shortly. So just once uh, Set Ra's health depletes here. And time. Do a Shaq dance. <laughs> So, keep the Shaq dance going as we get all those points. <laughs> Can't cut. That, that's Shaq Fu. Uh, let's put... We gotta engrave ESA here into this. 
Thank you to ESA for letting me run this ridiculous, goofy game. Uh, <laughs> here's our final credits cutscene, too. Thanks, Shaq. I am Nezu. You just saved my life. Okay, that's pretty cool. Literally, it was Team Shaq there, too. You can see Shaq. Sorry I'm late, boys. Let's just say I had to fight some traffic to get here. And, oh, no, not you again. I hope you could play hoops better than you could fight, Beast. Beast travels through an interdimensional time portal? I guess to play Shaq in a charity basketball game. So speaking of charity, definitely get your donations in for uh, Alzheimer Fondant, great cause uh, for Alzheimer research and support. Um, if this run interested you in any chance, uh, stay far away. <laughs> I'm joking, but like, uh, it's pretty quick and easy to pick up. Uh, there's a guide for the Super Nintendo version uh, on the Shaq Fu leaderboards, you can go check there. Special thanks to uh, Kamaru for making that guide. Um, and if you're interested in fighting game speedruns at all, I recommend looking for the Speedy Fist community, as it will have all sorts of info on the fighting game speedrunning community in general. That is kind of a hub for it. So, there is also a Shaq Fu Discord if you're so interested. <laughs> so... You can join that if you're interested in uh, playing Shaq Fu and more about it. And that is all from me. Uh, thanks to everyone who's been donating. Let's keep those donations going in. Uh, Speaking of donations, I do actually have one for you. Oh, I'll, have... I'll Shaq dance to it. Okay, good. <laughs> we have $5 from Tiny Tim that says, Hey all, donating for an awesome Count Gooby and a bit of Shaq Fu. Good luck with the run and cheers. Thank you for that awesome run, Count Gooby. Thank you. <laughs> I hope this was Tiny fun. Tim. <laughs> Thank you for the donation, Tiny Tim. Uh, <laughs> got my Shaq prop here. That's that's all from me. I hope this was fun. Uh, hope this made you laugh. And uh, thanks, DSA, for letting me run this.